Hi, uh, hi everyone, it's Alan here once again. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, they've basically deciding what to do now. I think, really, the government is making it up as they go along. Um, yeah, well, the, the main thing that the, the, um, the government wants, well, the government is doing, it's just one of them things that's happening. You know, so yeah, we're meant to be opening in the 21st of this month, but I've got a feeling that it's not going to happen. Um, one of the major things that uh, I'm thinking what they're planning is to keep Britons here. Um, you know, um, like Spain, Portugal, and all all other. I think the majority of EU countries will end up going on going on the amber list, and there will be quite a fair few going on the red list as well. Um, and basically, grounding um, people from travelling into Europe unless it's necessary. Um, in my local area of Blackburn with Darwin and Manchester area, right? Um, a lot, a lot of people tried going to Wales, but the police stopped them and said, "Sorry, you can't go to Wales. Uh, you've got to go. You've got to stay within the English border, sort of thing." And uh, you know, if you're thinking of going to Scotland, forget about it. Unless your travel, unless your travel is essential. Um, you know, they, they've they've asked the police to you know to uh, patrol the border between Scotland and England, and the the Welsh Assembly has been asked. To get ask their their police uh, authorities to to patrol the uh, Welsh English Welsh border, um, so that people don't go over the border. Also, um, registration plates on motorways are going to be uh, read more often, um. Because people just might go along the motorway and then find themselves in Wales or um, Scotland. Uh, I think also this could affect the Isle of Man as well, uh, because that's uh, an independent uh, island of itself. Yeah, it's a crown property, but it's a crown island. Um, but. Uh, you know, that's going to seriously, f um, you know, it's going to be a bit of a mess for folk. Yeah, it's been a nice day again, once again. I've just been out um, doing a bit of shopping with my mum. And, uh, yeah, just had a walk round and that. It's been pretty, it was pretty busy at, uh, we went to Asda today. Um, and then I went to B and M and sit to see what they had in. You know, it's just one of those things that happens. Um, yeah, I haven't heard from my friend today, so he's most probably sat in the house or something. You know. Jennifer starred in a film in a video yesterday, if I think I've put it up. Um, yeah. I'm just wet going through all the news at the moment so that uh, I'm trying to find something more 
um, you know, trying to find something, find out what's going on. Uh, GB News opens, broke, starts on Sunday the 13th. Um, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a refreshing change to to the usual stuff. To, you know, like... Um, you know, uh, like BBC, BBC, Sky, RT, Al Jazeera. You know, something different from those, from those, uh, from those. Yeah, it'd be good when it starts. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, I have noticed that. Um, the cellular signal has been better than what it usually is because uh, they put they've been doing work on the cell tower again and uh, you know we'll see what happens there um it's getting up to about 500 meg now uh in some parts of this area now because uh they put a uh, a 5G tower up. Don't know where it is, and I'm not really interested where it is. It's not just to, just as long as it keeps the infrastructure safe. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to going out again. Uh, it's very soon, and uh, yeah, it should be okay. So I just thought I'd just give give you a short video for the short for for today. All the shout outs to the usual suspects. Re PT vlogs. I really enjoyed the. F really enjoyed the fairground uh, f uh, video. All them, I think it was. Um, yeah, you're travelling further and further and further away from Blackpool, but uh, it's understandable. You, you, your town got invaded. <laughs> Literally got invaded, mate. Um, I haven't seen much of beyond the edge uh, of of late, um, so I'm just waiting to see if he puts anything up, see if beyond the edge puts anything up. But I reckon beyond the edge is pretty busy with what is uh, what he's doing, and uh, that's why we haven't seen any videos. Um, if it's any different, let me know because uh, uh, who else was there? There was old blackpool biker he was doing some for, he was just doing some shooting on the promenade um yeah the bingo two three thousand building well like i did covered that um we'll see what happens there yeah bingo club in they got rid of the Empire one, didn't they? I don't know why they got rid of that. You know, they should have just left... Well, they should have just left it, but the thing is now that's going to be... That's going to be looking like a proper street now with houses there. To be truthful, when that club, bingo club was put up, um, having it there looked... To be truthful, I thought it looked a bit odd. You know, having such a place on a street, you know, it didn't. Re to be truthful, it I really did feel it didn't belong there. Um, it was a building that really didn't really fit in. People might, people might turn around and say, "Well, blah 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 for the local community," but you know. To be true, fellow, I wouldn't want to bingo club on the end of my street. No, you know, with all the noise, with all the noise and traffic that it creates. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Buzz Bingo at Blackburn has now reopened. Uh, they're limiting the number of people that go in, but uh, they're just glad to see people coming back and playing. Also, they've been uh, having a bit of a, how can I put it, a bit of a, bit of a campaign to uh, 
get new members to come and pu come and play there. Yeah, your first first uh, first games there will be free for you, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens now. Um, I very much doubt it. Back to the restrictions. Twenty first, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be July. July now, I reckon. But by the time, by the time we've finished, by the time this thing's finished with, I really do think I think it's going to be next year now, twenty twenty two, before things uh, are properly sorted, and uh, you know, another year of this. Uh, oh yeah, well, it's it goes to show, doesn't it? really does well I'm going to bugger off now and uh, I just hope everybody's okay and uh, yeah 3 2 1 click <laughs>